what's up guys welcome to our channel this is green feed media hope you all are doing very well uh we would like you to kindly subscribe if you haven't subscribed and also turn on the notification bell just so you are notified whenever we upload any video if you feel like you can also give this video a thumbs up and we're just saying thank you very much we'll go straight to the news now electricity tariff subsidy gold 554 billion naira. This must stop. NERC, the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission. Good morning, my people. Good morning, everybody. Afternoon or evening, wherever you are. Hope you are doing very fine. This is the news for today, and uh, let's just sit back and relax and uh, listen. The Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission has said the federal government spent 540 billion naira subsidizing electricity in 2019, stressing the need to put an end to subsidy. According to the commission, the amount spent on electricity subsidy should be channeled to other sectors of the economy, such as health and education, and power users should learn to pay for what they consume. The vice chairman, NERC, Sanusi Garba, who doubles as commissioner at the commission, told our correspondent in Abuja that this was why the commission had to provide service reflective tariffs. He said the service reflective tariff, which took effect on the 1st of September 2020 before it was suspended for 14 days after an agreement between the federal government and labor unions, would ensure that consumers of distribution companies pay for what they consume. Garba said it was important for power users to make the right payments instead of the government paying subsidy on electricity every year. According to him, it is not the best, it is not in the best interest of Nigeria to continue shifting tariff review. He said the time of review has actually been shifted twice in consideration of the exigencies that obstructed everybody, particularly the COVID-19 pandemic and other situations. But you cannot continue to defer the review indefinitely because you should look at electricity supply as a value chain. Generation companies are spending more money to produce electricity and TCN is transmitting that electricity to the distribution companies. He added, if you continue to suppress prices, somebody has to take a hard cut in terms of cost. Somebody's revenue will not be covered. Now, what has been happening is that over the last few years, government has been subsidizing rates paid by end users significantly. In 2019, the subsidy was something in the region of 540 billion that has been paid. The NERC vice chairman said some person could argue that the government should continue to subsidize electricity, but stressed that this was not sustainable. He said the commission would continue to work towards the sustainability of the power business in Nigeria, urging Nigerians to understand why it was necessary to end subsidy on electricity as well as review tariffs. Garba said, yes, government can continue as a policy to subsidize, but the path to sustainability of this industry is an electricity market that is final, finally sustainable. Therefore, after the peak of the COVID-19 pandemic, it was considered appropriate to do what is right in terms of what is provided by the law and also what is in the methodology of the commission itself. Hmm. This is a new one that has come this morning. I really don't understand this. Every time the federal government keeps talking about what they have been subsidizing and what they don't have to subsidize, but we never see it. Even the things they say they are subsidizing, we never ever see that the, uh, that the federal government is actually subsidizing it. Just like them saying, oh, they were subsidizing fuel, they need to take it off, they were subsidizing electricity, now they have to take it off. The prices of electricity in Nigeria has gone really, really up. That means you do not want the poor Nigerians to actually have electricity. Because some people can pay for this. Some people cannot pay for this new tariff. This is utterly wrong. I think all these things should be subsidized because that's what we have presidents for. If we keep removing subsidy from everything, then what's going to happen? Nigeria is just going to take the last place in, in, in the poorest nation. 
I would like to see what you guys think about the removal of electricity subsidy, uh, subsidy because this is absolutely rubbish. I do not agree with it at all. Please put your comment down. Tell me what you think and please like this video and subscribe if you haven't. Until we meet next time, do take care. Bye.